Hey guys, so this episode is number nine of season two, and we're not even halfway through, because <laughs> there's like 22 episodes in this season. It's just funny to think like most shows now only have like 10 episodes, eight to 10 episodes, um, and shows back then were like 20 some odd episodes, so this one's like 22, and um, in the last episode... It was really, like, sad because, um, so we found out, like, more about Giles' past, and, um, Ethan came back, um, they're both still alive, and they, pretty much what they did is, like, they had a group that brought back a demon, and, um, the demon ended up killing majority of their group except for Ethan and and Giles um and he went inside Jenny or Miss Calendar whatever you want to call her um and yeah they ended up they ended up defeating the demon by putting it into Angel um and then Miss Calendar ended up being fine but at the end of the last episode, she was just kind of, like, hesitant, I think, about being with Giles now at this point because, like, of her experience being possessed by this demon or whatever. Um, which is completely understandable, um, but <laughs> it was just really a bummer. So, anyway, um, yeah, so... I don't even know what we're going to get out of this episode. It's just, I hope that they get back together soon. But yeah. So, um, for the most part, I feel like that was, like, the big things that happened in the in the last episode. But um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Well, there are no boxes for none of the above. That would introduce too many variables into their mushroom head, number crunching little world. I'm sensing bitterness. No, it's just these people can't tell from one Is that like a career test, test or we're whatever? We're doing for the rest of our lives. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm kind of curious to find out what sort of career I could have. Mine said like a um, a therapist slash teacher, which was a little shocking, but at the same time, it wasn't. If you weren't already a slayer or not. Do the words sealed and fate ring any bells for you, Will? Why go there? You know, with that kind of attitude, you could Damn, have had a bright a future spicy. as an employee at the DMV. Mm. I'm sorry, it's just... <sighs> Why come dance? Give us some peace, would you? Can't you see I'm working? I'm so I don't know. I, I'm waiting. I'm trying to keep an open mind about Drew because everyone loves her, but I'm just trying. It's just, she's annoying. Ah. Maybe she ends up changing. If she ends up changing, then maybe I'll like her, but. Isn't that what a transcriber does? Well, not exactly. <laughs> I want the cure. Fine. Why not? Some people find pain. <laughs> Very inspiring. The cure for vamp. Burism oh, or whatever? Yeah. Is that what he's talking about? Not with I. I have a feeling that he sent quite a bit of people over there. Didn't, isn't that what they said anyway? That they sent he sent the boys? I forgot. They're not a people. Yeah. Where did the other guy go? He was literally right there. One down. Yep. One gone. You scared me. Now you know what it feels like, stealth guy. Just dropping Why by for some like quality time, with Mr. Gordo. Stuffed animal. Mm. Excuse me. The pig. And you don't have to whisper. Mom's in a little Thursday art, buying her something. Then why'd why you come through, through the window? window? Habit. I want a normal life, like I had before. For me. Well, well Angel, before the whole Slayer you. thing. You're the one freaky thing in my freaky world that still makes sense to me. I wish we could be regular kids. Yeah, 
I'll never be a kid. Okay, then a regular kid and her great erotic like creature than my boyfriend. Forty-one years old. When was the last time you put on your skates? About a couple of hundred demons ago. There's a rink out past Route 17. It's closed on Tuesdays. Something tells me that that might not happen. Here I am. Personal shopper or motivational speaker? Mito. Motivational speaker on what? Ten ways to a more annoying you? I could see her being a motivational speaker. Oh. When you look at me, do you think prison guard? <laughs> oh. Um, crossing guard, maybe, but prison guard? As in police? As in polyester, donuts, and brutality. I could see that, too. I mean, that's kind of like a little bit about but like donuts? what she does. Uh -huh. Well, but I handed in my test. I used a number two pencil. Then I guess you must have passed. It's not the kind of test you pass or fail. Yeah. Huh. Your name wasn't up there, Will. Why was her name not up there? I cut one out of two vamps after they stole something from this jumbo mausoleum. They were stealing? Yeah. They had tools, flashlights, whole nine yards. Giles, you're in pace mode. What gives? Why didn't she tell him about it before? Um, this gristle in my teeth. She's the bloody thorn in my bloody side. Spy? Whatever happened to the anointed one? Yes, but... <laughs> The Order of Taraka, I mean, isn't that overkill? No. I think it's just enough kill. So I guess Spike doesn't care to continue to, like, try to kill her? Willow Rosenberg, come with us, please. Excuse me? Let's walk. What? These aren't the same guys that took that one chick that one time, it's right? Excellent. The invisible girl. We're extremely selective. In fact, only one other Sunnydale student met our criteria. Please don't tell me it's Cordelia. Oh, that guy. Huh. Well, finally. Which shouldn't prevent you from uh, eventually procuring some more gainful form of employment, uh, such as I did. Yeah, Giles, it's one thing Being to be a, a watcher and a librarian. They go together, like chicken and another chicken, or two chickens, or something. You know what I'm saying. She could have just said, like, peanut butter and jelly or something. Well, now there's a thought. Have you ever considered law enforcement? That's what I said. Kind of goes. coming from Los Angeles. Oh, the bounty hunters or whatever. Yep. Is that another bounty hunter? Looks completely different than the other one. And he's gonna kill her. Yep. Uh, by learning what's in the book before they do. Which means we can expect to be here late tonight. I was going to say, how are you going to figure that party. out without the book? Well, you need a life in the worst way. Man, I haven't ice skated in, like, forever. How'd she get in if they were closed on Tuesdays? I mean, I guess she could... Well, I mean, she's the slayer. She could probably figure out how to get into a closed building, but... <laughs> Cut him right in the jugular, didn't she? Well, I guess that guy is uh, not the best bounty hunter. Close to decoding the manuscript, we just need a bit more time. Time is ours. It brings the Slayer closer to them. I'm guessing that the the girl is the tiger. Am I right? Don't be a baby. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's not that. I... What? You shouldn't have to touch me when I'm like this. I didn't even notice. Wasn't that sweet? <laughs> His face is probably gonna change back, right? After the kiss. Oh, nope. Maybe she's the centipede thingy?
Uh, she really strikes me as like a tiger, though. I think the best thing we can do is to find a secure location. Somewhere out of the way you can go until we decide on the best course of action. Okay. Now you and Angel well, it's not have like both she can, like, head head for the hills. School. Are you saying I can't handle this? That I'm not strong enough to fight these people? They're a breed apart, Buffy. Uh, unlike vampires, they have no earthly I mean, desires. it didn't take her long to kill the first one, but... but... To collect their bounty. Each one of them works alone. His own way. Some are human. Some... Okay, yeah, he's definitely this in I'm not. Is she gonna go through a window? Oh, or not go home, I guess. Is she, like, going to Angel? That's the only thing I can think of where she would go, if not home. Angel? Mm hmm Figured. I was gonna say, he might be mad if she's in there, like, with, like, snooping around and stuff, although he kind of does the same thing to her, too, so. Oh, that's a different necklace. Does she just flow through different cross necklaces? I don't think I've ever paid attention to that. We're closed. Can't you read the sign? Oh, uh, Hey, Angel. I didn't recognize you in the dark there. Hmm. What, I uh... mean, I could have told you it was him. Okay, okay! He and that freaky chick of his are... Oh, oh shit. I don't know if he'll be able to beat her on his own. No, no, I, I haven't heard from Buffy yet. Look, look, I, I think you should go to her house and check on her. Uh, well, he probably right, right, uh, right away. I, I don't know. Get Cordelia to drive you. Mm. Yeah, they need to spend more time together. Cordelia and Xander. The missing bloody link, it was. Right. Right in front of us. The old she all bruised time. up. gonna be that guy good day yep I'm Norman Pfister with blush beautiful skincare and cosmetics I was wondering if I might interest you in some free samples free Cordelia <laughs> oh shit you know <laughs> Using the, the nails. Oh, I'm Kendra, the vampire slayer. Wait, do what now? <laughs> There's more than one? Okay, so she's not the tigress thingy or whatever. Okay. Um. Alright, so there's more than one. Which, I kind of figured that maybe there could potentially be more than one, because there was, what, there was... Well, I mean, I guess there was, like, one before Buffy, but... Well, there was multiple before Buffy, but I don't know. So, okay. Getting to an interesting part in this series. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.